Shield 340 back at it again. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and make this video to uh, sort of make you all aware to take advantage of a special item that they have at the clan vendor for this week. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to go ahead and make this video is also to make you aware uh, at the it is to my understanding that the next season the raid exclusive drops will be in the DZ and so there's going to be a lot of new players going out there to the DZ, DZ to go ahead and pick up those uh, raid exotics uh, and then this build will both help you achieve that and then you know we have a limited time to sort of take advantage of what they have at the uh, clan vendor to uh, make those kinds of builds. So, um, as you can see here, I'm at the clan vendor. Uh, the item of note is the y'all gear as the uh, holster uh, piece talent. Uh, as you can see here, you can only get y'all gear in the dark zone uh, as a random drop. If you're like me, I am perpetually unlucky and uh, I don't get very many y'all gear drops. And even if you do get the y'all gear drop, you are going to have to extract it from the dark zone, which in and of itself could cause you a lot of problems. So um, a way to mitigate that is to go ahead and pick up the y'all gear at the clan vendor, which I'm showing you here. Uh, or you can actually craft it from the uh, workbench station. Uh, and I'll sort of make a special note to that uh, here in a few minutes or so. Um, what you'll want to do is you'll come here, pick up the y'all gear, uh, you know, buy, you know, some y'all gear, and you'll use that here in a second. So um, the thing about the y'all gear is that you are looking for the three piece, which is the 40 percent pulse resistance. Now, many of you probably already know this, but I just thought I'd go ahead and let you know as well. Uh, you'll get the 40 percent pulse resistance from the y'all gear itself. You'll also get 50 percent. Uh, pulse resistance from the um, you'll get the 50% pulse resistance from your specialization eat all of the specializations provide 50% uh, pulse at this time and then all you have to do is make do with 10% uh, pulse resistance mod and then you are free to um, you know be uh, unavoidable from the pulses from the enemy players in the DZ now what that does is it gives you two advantages right uh, the first one is that you are not going to be able to be seen by enemy pulses if you are within range uh, and giving you the, you know, the potential to uh, surprise your enemies out there in DZ in case anybody goes rogue. Uh, the second reason why you want to go ahead and do that is because those gear sets like the um, Heartbreaker set and the uh, Spotter talents all take advantage of you being pulsed. Uh, both of those gear, both the gear set as well as the uh, talent uh, will give you bonus damage to pulse enemies. Uh, well, you, you can't get, you know, the bonus damage uh, used against you uh, if you are 100% pulse resistant. Uh, that's going to be a big help to you when you're out there in the DZ uh, because it's out there like the Wild Wild West and you want to do everything you can to give yourself an advantage. And a lot of players are going to be using those kinds of builds. So, you know, I just want to kind of make you aware of that. Um, while you're here at the crafting bench, uh, I did say, I did make special mention that you are able to, uh, pick up the y'all gear from the clan vendor for this week and this week only. Well, what happens if you are, you know, watching this video and you still kind of want to take advantage and make a y'all gear, um, you know, uh, set right for the DZ well if you come over to your uh, blueprints and crafting projects you can see it I believe it is the mask chest and holster if you take a look at this here uh, you can actually make the y'all gear that's the mask if you have enough components uh, there is the chest piece you can make that at the crafting station as well and then it is the holster that you can go ahead and you can make at the uh, clan vendor, or the, I'm sorry, the, the bench here. If you happen not to, you know, have the clan, um, you know, not be able to take advantage of being able to buy it from the clan vendor. But uh, Ultimate Shield, look, I, I hear what your question is. Like, so what happens if I am watching this video and I want to make a y'all gear uh, set for the DZ and it's not selling at the uh, clan vendor and I don't have enough components to go ahead and make the gear. Well, you're actually quite in luck. If you actually scroll all the way down, uh, many of you probably already know this, but again, I apologize if you did not know this. 
uh, or if you already did know this, so I do apologize, uh, but some of you may not know. But if you actually come down to the random brand holster, um, you know, you will see that it'll give you a, a list of options of things that you can actually create. So you can see there at the bottom it says for Fenris. Uh, you can, if you do the random brand holster, you will either get a Fenris group, AB, Petrov, Defense Group, Providence, Defense, Richard, and Kaiser, uh, GM. BH or Wyvern Wear. Uh, unfortunately, I was unlucky enough to pick the correct one, but it's one of these gear sets. It's one of these options where if you choose the random brand set, yep, see, this is one of the options. If you pick the random brand set uh, vest that you can create, uh, you'll see at the very last option is the all gear. So you do have to get somewhat lucky in order to go ahead and prop this. But if you go ahead and hit the random brand vest, you are, you know, there is a chance that you can make some y'all gear. And then you can go on to the next step, which is the method I'm going to show you here. Once you get enough y'all gear pieces, what you'll want to do is you will want to pick up the look at the y'all gear that you picked up at the uh, clan vendor. And what you'll want to do is you want to either take the item itself and put it on your build if it works for you. Or if it does not, you'll want to uh, break them down and crush them and deconstruct them as we are showing you here. Once you deconstruct them, you'll notice that the uh, third option is the Y'all Gear Synthetic Pinna, which is the, you know, item that you'll need to uh, create the crafting gear that you'll be able to need to craft the gear at the crafting bench. So right there, I got 11. Um, and, you know, I get the rest of that stuff. And if you look here at the crafting bench... Um, whenever I look at the holster, uh, you know, it, it's the first option there. I have enough to actually craft the gear at the uh, station. So as long as you have enough money, I would recommend that you go ahead and, you know, continue to bit, get enough gear and then continue to craft it at the bench until you get what you want. Uh, I am actually going to be doing that my own self because the gear that I have here isn't quite optimized in the way that I would, would like it to be, uh, which then I will go ahead and transition to you and show you what I have working with in the Z DZ. Um, the build, this build is a variation of a build that I've seen off of YouTube, which I will go ahead and link in the description. Uh, I took the build by a Patrick Wolf here. Uh, I love his content as well, so go ahead and check him out. Again, the uh, build description will be there in the link, so check it out. Uh, but I went ahead and I took his build and I made a variation of it at this point. Uh, I just want to go ahead and say I, this is not optimized. Uh, after I go through what I've shown you here, I will go ahead and actually create my own build and, you know, utilize the pieces that I really want to use on my build and hopefully have enough materials to get the way I want it to get. And with enough luck, I'll be able to do that as well. So uh, firewall specialization uh, for you to be able to get the striker shield. As you can see here, striker shield uh, does that there. Uh, gives you a buff for, um, you know, anybody in that cone. So anytime you pull out the shield, you'll see that yellow cone in front. Anybody in that uh, cone will get a, uh, you will get a, actually a damage bonus to that enemy. And you can make it up to, uh, you know, as of right now on the shield, my damage bonus is 11%. So uh, you can actually increase that by using the uh, damage bonus uh, percentage here. So I believe... I want to say it's five at base. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it's five at base, uh, but then you can go ahead and increase it using the add-ons there. So just as a heads up, damage bonus to yourself. Then we have the decoy, to uh, decoy uh, for the uh, second skill. And then I have the FAMAS right here, damage to target out of cover. Uh, we have the Optimist Talent. Uh, which you can go ahead and take care of and read. Then I have the Scorpio shotgun in case I get close or if I run out of bullets and I can't reload, I can go ahead and use that for some, you know, sort of crowd control. I might change the secondary weapon to something else, but that is what I have for right now. Uh, reformation talent on my TDR card. Uh, you know, the secondary, the, the handgun is actually not quite as important in this one, but, you know, I just thought I'd let you sh see it just so you're aware of what it is. Then we have the Hollow Man um, named item for the Y'all Gear is the mask. I was actually lucky enough to uh, pick this up from the DZ vendor uh, probably a few weeks back. If you don't have this mask, fear not, you can just create a Y'all Gear uh, mask for this uh, purpose and then put whatever stats that you want in here for that. 
So um, that's what this mask is. And I have a pulse resistance mod of a 9.7. Uh, then I have the Matador backpack, Walker and Harris. And you get the perfect adrenaline rush. Uh, I can go ahead and let you read that. If you want to pause that, you can go ahead and you can do that. Uh, we have the chest piece as unbreakable. Uh, goes ahead and gives you a sort of a second life. If you are jumped on by multiple teams and then I also made that Walker Harris as well so I can get the 5% uh, damage uh, to armor uh, the hands are the y'all gear uh, the idea is that I was supposed to have a lot of uh, crit hit chance and crit hit damage on these pieces to allow me to be tanky enough to survive uh, an extended encounter but also um, to do enough damage to enemies and NPCs that I can go ahead and sort of win the day. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have that optimized, as I've already told you before, but no big deal. Um, you know, that's the holster that I bought at the uh, clan vendor, which I'll go ahead and probably change here soon. And then the Fox's Prayer knee pads for this as well. Uh, the total idea of the build, as if you decide you want to go ahead and look at the link, is that Patrick Wolf had said something very important that I, I, di I did agree with. Whenever you're using this build, you are to counter the ideas that you're going to counter uh, anybody posting you. So it will go ahead and knock out Spotter and the Heartbreaker gear set, which is rampant in the Dark Zone in PvP. But then also, um, you are going to be able to do damage to the enemy, and it is not conditional, right? So although the idea behind the build is that you're going to have a whole bunch of crit hit chance, crit hit damage, uh, and you are going to be critting a lot, the idea behind the build is that you're going to get a whole bunch of, uh, you know, multiplicative damage, uh, you know, not... It, it's not set on any specific condition. You'll be able to hit as hard regardless if they're bleeding or if they're up close or if they're far away. And I really like the idea behind that build. And so I decided to sort of make my own iteration of the build itself. So uh, this is the build itself. Uh, I am going to be working on this using the method I have described to you before. And hopefully uh, sometime soon I will have some, um, you know, dark zone gameplay for you to kind of check out and things like that so uh with that being said this is ultimate shield 340 signing off and i'll see you in the dark zone Thank you.